This episode is proudly brought to you by Hot Tackle. Find a better advertised price and the boys will beat it. Good one. Oh, hey. You met our friend Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pretty busy, eh? Mate, keep taking it wide. Uh, hang, on. hang on, mate. Stop. No. Yep. Yeah, climb that a bit. Yeah, righto. Straighten up. You worried about the front end? Just keep going straight. guys well we are back up at one of our favorite spots double island point we got these two rat bags with us cody also known as jeffrey dharma and we got the big fella you can't give us a laugh till you get a good fish mate nah. too early for a laugh is it yeah yeah, yeah right. all right so what happened is we left really late last night because it's a long weekend we thought we'd make the most of it and come up here and the traffic would have been horrendous in the afternoon. So we left really late last night. We got here early in the morning, took us what, four and a half hours. It was a little bit tricky actually. We, we come through the Leisha track there and out onto the beach and we started to head up here. And there's, from this swell we've got going, there's debris and sticks and everything all over the beach. It was like, it was actually quite tricky to get in here. Um, so yeah, I had the big fella driving last night because I had a couple of tins. So yeah, anyway, we, had to go through a little bit of salt water, which ended up being a bit deeper than what we thought, didn't it? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so anyway, we come up here. Last night we had the tide come right up to here while we were resting. And uh, yeah, we were a little bit worried it was gonna come up near the car, but it didn't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go put the boat in the water now. We've got two days, so we're not in a massive rush this morning. We're just gonna come out and fish out off the front here for a little while. We're gonna maybe go have a bit, bit of a dive, have a chill out on the beach, do a bit of a cook up. And then tomorrow morning, really early in the dark, we're going to send it a long, long way north up along Fraser Island. And we're going to check a spot that we come over with me, Says, and Cody a while ago, late in the afternoon. And it's like a little bit of a cave and an overhang in that. And, and we believe it was holding Red Emperor and we were just getting smashed by sharks on it. So we're going to go up, fish that again, and fish a whole heap of spots around there. So stay tuned for this one. Should be a bit of fun. Anyway, this 
What's that, a 60 series? Yeah. Cruising. With the swell behind me here, uh, they're not the sets yet, but there's quite a bit of swell. The wind's meant to be, uh, we've had a southerly blowing for about two weeks now. And uh, we've got like a, I think it was a 3.1 metre swell yesterday, 2.6 metre east south east swell today. And then it drops off a little bit more tomorrow. So we thought we'd take it easy because I didn't know if the swell was wrapping right around the lagoon there, which it, it looks like it is down there a little bit. And uh, we just map out a little way out through the, through the bloody lagoon and all that so we can leave in the dark tomorrow. But yeah, over my shoulder here, these uh, swell here is actually, so east is that way. So the swell's actually coming this way opposite to what that surf's coming in. So it's wrapping the whole way around this massive big headland and it's still that big out there. Probably doesn't look too big in your in the camera just there, but it's well overhead. So anyway, there's a lot of swell. Anyway, they're keen as to go put the boat in the water, so let's do it. All right, so we've come all the way down the, um, the other end of the beach here where we usually launch the boat. And as you can see, As we were thinking, that swell's running the whole way down there and it's actually, some of them are nearly breaking through. We've got to put the boat in, mark out a line for tomorrow morning so we can go out in the dark, but it's going to be hard going. Like, we've only got 50, 60 metre passage to get through while it's breaking, so I don't know if we'll be do this in the dark. We might end up having to wait. I wanted to leave at four in the morning, so we've got like a two hour steam. But um, yeah, if that's the case, we're going to have to wait till yeah, we can see a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to put the boat in up here. We'll leave the boat in overnight, I'd say, and, and, um, and go back out tomorrow, stay in the lagoon or whatever. But this surf's pumping. Look out here. These waves are breaking oh, no, from up there. fine, because we'll take... We won't leave the boat in the lagoon. What other lagoon? This is already salty from um, going through that thing. Uh, we've found a little spot here that we think might be all right to put the boat in, but it's very soft on the edge there. It's totally different from last time. Conditions are not so perfect to put boats in here at the moment or get in and out, so it's gonna be fun. It sort of screws us up a little bit because we we're gonna leave in the dark and come back in the dark tomorrow so we get a full daze up there. Yeah, we're gonna probably have to leave in the light and come back before dark now, which cuts like probably four hours off our fishing time. Looks soft there. Uh, I'm just going to try and get him off in one go here because it's quite spongy near the water. I don't want to have to try and drive this back up this steep little bank. Is he good? All right. Yeah, we're good. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad that went off straight away. Out we go. Yeah. I'll pause the video right there for two seconds, guys, to remind you about the epic $2,500 electric scooter giveaway we've got going at the moment, drawn on the 7th of June. Head over to outerline.com.au and purchase anything off our website to go into the draw. Every additional $50 spent is another entry into the draw, guys. So go for gold. Thanks for the support. Now back to the show. All right. How's the conditions out there? <laughs> Looks a bit rainy. Actually, no, never had to cross the bar at Double Island. Look at this. Look at them rolling through. Happy days. <laughs> Hard up against there, eh? <laughs> it was a um, big swell, like little mountains coming at you. <laughs> we didn't do any filming or anything over it once we got out of that bar, but we're about five or six k's off now. We've seen a, a good school of bait just up in front of us, so Bordeaux's tying a diver on, and uh, we're going to just have a quick troll past, even if it's just a nice little macky for some bait or whatever. Yeah, see how we go. Otherwise, we're going to go have a little bit of a drop. 
pearlies or something? Where are they? Alright, we've switched over to the GoPro now because yeah, it's been raining and it's quite windy. See over in the back here, we just got smacked by all that and all this. A bit of a subtly blow on this way with um, that squall. So we're just still waiting for it all to settle down, but it doesn't look like it's going to today. Anyway, we got this bit of rain over here to come yet. Ain't nothing to write home about, that's for sure. Yeah, a little pearly, I reckon. <laughs> Says he's got a little grassy there. I've got something here. It'll be a keeper, which is good. Whoa. Huh? Uh oh. Yep. Oh, yes. Are you serious? How good are sharks? It's all about balance, eh? Beans and beer. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what we're getting. This sort of um, little front's coming through, which is still just keeping the breeze up a bit, not letting it calm right out. So anyway, keep battling along. Sharks, weather. At least the current's good. Can't have it all. A little bit on the screen, mate. Yeah, a little bit. All right, Porto's got one. Cage is getting a couple of nibbles. Jeffrey, mate. Jeffrey. What's that thing, mate? Little Red Emperor. <laughs> the 10 kilo red, except these makes it look tiny. <laughs> yeah, so we've pushed another 10 kilometers off now. There's a still big swell out here. The conditions look nice, but you can't travel very quick because there's a lot of um, leftover crap from yesterday. Well, the last two weeks, actually. So, yeah. Whoop. Says he got a bite, too. No oh, big fella's on again. Half that little red. It's only small, too, isn't it? Yeah, pretty small. I haven't even finished quarter of your dart. You're already winding up another fish. All right. You beauty. That's a good pearly, mate. Hey? Chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea. Go easy on him when you get him up a bit, mate. Yep. Codes is onto a decent fish too now. All right. Jeffrey Dahmer onto his first fish since being convicted. Yeah, codes. That's a cracker, mate. Uh, Good beauty. That's a nice big grassy sweet lip. That's a really good one. Well done, mate. So what'd you do? How'd you get it? He's gonna flick out of your hands 100%. Nah, got him with a good grip now. Yeah. Couple in the box now. <laughs> Monkey's off the back. Big man's hooked up on something pretty good on the on the jig here, a little octo jig, slow pitched. I'd say, might have a bloody amberjack, mate. Looks like you might be here for a bit. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's no. a... oh, 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 it's a super toad. <laughs> Holy shit! That's a big ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Holy toadfish. What the hell? Got me excited for nothing, man. <laughs> As he's on straight away now. Does it feel sharky or does it feel fishy? No, fish. Alright, oh, that's good. He loves her little pen outfit that she's got, eh? Hey? Got tackle boys. It's not swimming. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave you with that. Bad fish. Nah, uh, just I was float lining out the back and took it. I don't know, it's not big, but yeah, keep up whatever it is. Squire or something. Nice grassy. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Yeah. That's oh well, that's yeah. good. Here says it's fishing with a Patton Oster rig and 60 pound mono leader. It got walloped as soon as it got to the bottom. She pulled up a great little snapper, about 60 centimetres. Yep. Mate. Right. Good fish. That's a good snapper, yeah. I reckon. Ooh. Old man. Bit of bending. Oh, no. That Very looks vermin. sharky as, mate. I'm going to leave you with that. Is it? Yeah. Whoa, that's a decent shark. Oh. Oh. Ah, my thumb. Snap it. Oh. I'm stuffed. <laughs> Give us a laugh. That was a good fight. 
Copping a few sharks today, as usual, which is just a normal thing these days. You dropped him, did you? No. Nah, got him. Says he's onto something half decent. Yeah. Dude, he's just come over this little spot after the shark. Bordeaux's shark's little boy wanted to have a go at Sarah's. About over these things, eh? I just need tools, please. Yeah, right. I got belted. I don't know, I'm not calling it anything. Sarah just got a shark. Mine took off straight after, so it could be the same sort of thing. A little shark. They're really doing a number on us today. Anyway, far out. Wow. Right They're all the same size, too. Yeah. Shark Bill, I'll give you this GPS mark so no one comes in. Alrighty, we've moved back in close now. Um, it's uh, just after lunch, one one o'clock, one thirty, and we're sitting on spot lock in about forty eight meters. Says so you just got a nice little pearly and keeper. Yeah, finally. We haven't had pearly in I, ages, eh? I haven't caught a like keeper pearly in ages. Yeah. Well, you have now. Yep. So anyway, I'll sit here for a little bit and see how we go. No. You're kidding. I just hooked a good fish and then bang, bang shark straight away, man. <laughs> That was a good pearly, I reckon. Oh, shark. Oh, you what? This is a better pearly. Should be a keeper. If I can get it past the old uh, man in the grey. Fishing pretty light here, just a little four or six ball sinker and two gang hooks. Pillies on spot lock, it's good fun. Every time we're hitting the bottom, we're pulling up pearlies, but a lot of them are undersized. Oh, there we go. Another nice pearly. Chicken of the sea, best eaten fish. Number one for me in my books. They are delicious. What do you reckon? What's number one? Tusky, I reckon. Tusky, you reckons. Really? These and trout for me. Like a shark on. Says he's got a decent fish here. I'm about to hook up, I think. So I'm gonna leave you with that. That's a better fish. Uh oh, hang on. Uh oh. Yeah, that looks a bit fish. mackerel ish. Really? Look. Tuna-ish. Was that on your way Ooh. down? Yeah. Um, tail whoops. Yeah. Alright, Jeffrey Dahmer is on! <laughs> Coach has got a fish here. Look, he, he just sits here for an hour, then I'm like, have a fish coach. Drops line boom straight on. See what it is, what are you calling it? Bucket mouth? Says he's on here. There, yeah, mate. Well, baby red. Yeah. Hopefully we can meet a couple of his grandparents tomorrow. There you go. That's a good pearly codes. Not bad. Hmm? Not bad, but barrel. Ow, he's by the mm, fingers. Yeah. They just uh, give it a little bit of a kick at the start, then give up, basically. Yep. Let's go. That just shows if the sharks would leave us alone, we'd get a few more of these. There was two sharks chasing this fella up, but um, 